Hi, my name is Vinay Joseph. I am the pre-sales lead for IDLE, which stands for Intelligent Data Operating Layer for the Asia Pacific and Japan region at Microfocus. In recent months, a virus known as coronavirus has sickened nearly 100,000 people according to official counts. As of Wednesday, March 3rd, at least 3,280 people have died. The virus is creeping around the world with the outbreaks propping up in every corner of the globe. Coronavirus is just the latest in a long strain of illnesses outbreaks that have stoked global fears and left government officials throughout the world scrambling to find a way to get ahead of the outbreak and contain any spread of the disease. This type of task is what IDLE was built to do. IDLE is a platform which derives contextual and conceptual insights from data. It can identify relationships that exist within virtually any type of information. It provides an answer to the question, how do I know what I do not know about a given topic of interest? To demonstrate how IDLE can help officials track the coronavirus spread, we are going to walk through a little demo. So we have a dashboard in front of us with search results for COVID cases in several countries. As you can see, we've categorized these by three categories, alert, watch, and normal. The alert category shows a spike in content that has been ingested in the last day showing COVID cases in Australia and Japan. We can change this to see the trend in comparison to last week as an example, and immediately the dashboard will change. We're able to do this because IDLE has the ability to take snapshots of your data as we are ingesting it into the content engine. So let me go back to the last day and look at the alert situation with the COVID cases in Australia. And as I click on this particular tile, IDLE will drill down to the topic map, which shows me the various topics in the news related to COVID cases in Australia. So you can see that Australia is the major topic over there. And within that, we've got subtopics where Sydney International Airport, Westmead Hospital, Corona outbreak, and Corona cases. Since I'm interested in actual Corona cases, I'm going to select that and the topic map will change accordingly. And you can see that South China seems to be a major topic in this. So obviously this must be related to people traveling from there. And you can see I'm getting a knowledge card as I hover over Sydney on that particular tile. So what I'm going to do now is I want to see this information graphed on a map. So when I select the map feature here, IDLE will go and show me geotagged content across the world. Please remember that the data set that we're looking at is a subset. We're not indexing every single news article, but just to show you the concept works here, I'm going to select an Australia where I have 645 uh, items over here. And you can see there is a spike in Brisbane compared to Sydney and Melbourne. Straight away, I'm able to find out uh, cases as it's happening in the unstructured world of information. And when I select Sydney and zoom in, I'm able to see that there are three cases in Canberra, 79 in Sydney. And you can see as I select on Sydney, I get a map here of the various articles that IDLE has ingested and geocoded Sydney as a location. So when I select one of these particular articles, <clears throat> It straight away shows me that, uh, you know, there is a fifth case of coronavirus in the state. Um, I think a man and a woman has just returned to Sydney from Iran and the man is in his 40s and he's confirmed to be the fifth coronavirus uh, case in the state. This is the power of vital being able to look at a dashboard and drill down to get the analytics that you're after. So in this situation we can see that from the map straight away that there are more cases happening in brisbane than there are in sydney and within brisbane when i drill down because the information from the articles have been geocoded we are able to plot that on a map